Hello, it is time for 7-Minute Seed. I am Kate Richter. I am coming to you from Root and uh, RootBible.com, which is the best place to find uh, encouragement and lessons for your family. But our timer has already started, so... Uh, let's go ahead and go, don't you think? I'm thinking maybe yes. Now, right now I'm talking about, the next two times I'm talking about keeping your eyes on things above. This is a big thing in our home because we believe and we teach our children and we help others teach their children that this natural life on earth where the evil one has dominion is temporary. The flesh that came from this earth will of course be destroyed with the earth and we will be given new flesh to surround our recreated spirit which is already in us. So how cool is that? Uh, In the reality of Christianity, I don't feel like these are things that are talked about at home uh, with our kids in between Sundays. And sometimes that is simply because it has not been made simple to understand. This isn't rocket science. It's just resetting our thinking on things above and understanding what God is saying when he says, we've been recreated. We're new that the dominion of darkness has sin and the power of sin. And we live in the dominion of light once we've received Jesus. And there is life and life abundantly and the authority to have that life here on earth. Now, what does that look like? Does that life look like blessings and goodness and everything's easy all the time? No, you don't see that one place in the word. Now, Is there joy and joy abundantly? Yes. In his presence is fullness of joy. Just being in his presence, teaching your kids to slow down and worship and be in the word. And you might be listening to this and be like, oh yeah, right. I don't even do that, right? Um, But it is something to shoot for because when we go to our scripture this morning in Colossians 3, I say morning, I guess it's still morning. Uh, If then you have been raised with Christ to a new life, sharing his resurrection from the dead, aim and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And the word does say that that is where we are seated also. Now, to try to wrap your natural mind around that, you're not going to be able to do that because where are our feet? Our feet are here on this earth earth. So the idea that we're also seated in heaven starts to give a glimpse to us and we're able to share this with our kids when it comes to the three-part being is which part is making decisions here. Is this my recreated spirit? Is this my soul or is this my body making decisions here, right? And we talk about those in other podcasts. Uh, Check out the new class coming up on rootbible.com, which is the real you that will have a lot of um, secrets revealed on what is new life? What does that really mean? And and what does it look like? So make sure to check that out. But um, he goes on to say in Colossians chapter three, verse one and two, and set your mind and keep them set on what is above the higher things, not on the things that are on this earth. And so now, when we communicate that, when we read that and then try to communicate it, it just sounds like we should be in worship and in our word all day, every day, right? But if you really study this out, what he is saying is you're coming at everything you're doing and saying and thinking from the mind of Christ, which has been given to us, which is aimed at eternal things, knowing that natural things will pass away. So why am I saying that today, mamas? Because if we don't handle with care our salvation, we're not going to help our children or ourselves see anything from that mindset above perspective, that kingdom perspective. We will constantly live in this in-between of, I am a Christian, but I still operate like, like I'm not because I'm existing in this world. One way we do that is by prioritizing education of natural things and not the teaching, training, edification, and raising up in the, the in the word and in the identity of who we are as children of God in ourselves and our children. And I want to encourage you to go to Colossians 3, 
read verses 1, 2, you can even go into 3. Um, and as far as the Holy Spirit would lead you, He's the one that will bring you all truth. And really set yourself to hear His voice on how to help you prioritize the Word of God and your kids, your the youth in your home, your spouse, prioritizing first getting the the mindset and the view from above, like eternal view of things. Now, when you go to uh, extend your education or learn about things, it will be led by a mindset of eternity, of things above. So math, <laughs> though it's important, will pass away. The history of this natural world will pass away. The science of this natural world, new revelation will come and will pass away. So we need to understand that though those things help us do well in this earth, this earth will exist for a short time. We will exist in this earth, in this in this flesh form for a short time. The Bible calls it like a, a fading flower. And that's not a sad thing, but that means that we need to be aiming our direction, our thinking, our learning, the raising of our families and our children in eternal things, keeping our mindset on things above and helping them do the very same. And the way that we do that is to help them as we're correcting them or redirecting them, help them to stop and hear the voice of God. Help them stop and ask him, how are you looking at this situation? What should come first? If you have created everything in this earth, including me, how would you move in this situation? I want your opinion on this. I want your direction on this. How I'm treating my sibling, how I'm treating my parents, how I am approaching doing my chores everything. There is a scripture for everything that will help our mindsets latch on to the mind of Christ that he's pushing, put in each one of us, even our toddlers, mom, and allow us to connect with that and that become real life in us. And then we go on with the day. All right. That has been seven minutes of seed for you. If you're enjoying these, share it with your friend. Um, your friend. You only have one friend. <laughs> Share it with your friends. Share it with them. Encourage them that we are set apart. We are different. And he has made it easier than we think to live it out with our kids in our homes. And so that is exciting. Now tune into the next one where we're going to go into, uh, you know, when you're setting your mind on things above, we're going to take seven minutes to say a quick way we help our kids do that. So I hope you'll join us for that. And I'll see you next time. Us. I always say us because I normally do a lot of teaching with my husband, but us as in Root or me as in Kate, I bless your day. I speak life over your home and I encourage you to seek out his word and allow his spirit to lead you today. Blessings. <music>